Hello there guys, Francis Greer here and today we're going to be having a look at and pimping out a old statue of the demon from a movie called Split Second. Okay guys, so this is a private commission that somebody sent me to basically fix and uh, to, to spruce up and make it a little bit better. So this is the, a demon from a old movie called Split Second. I believe it was made in the early 90s, I believe. And uh, basically features this like demon uh, that uh, basically rips people's hearts out and eats them. Hence the uh, severed heart here. So, yeah, so this is an old garish kit. Uh, I'm not too sure who made it, who sculpted it, or who produced it. If I do manage to find that information out, uh, I'll, it'll have a show up on the screen now. Okay, guys, so I went ahead and I actually found out who produced this kit. So I need to do a little insert part here. Uh, it was produced by a company called uh, Seller Cast. And uh, I, they would produce this kit in the mid 90s, and I tried to find a website, but all I could find was a Facebook page for them. So, uh, yeah, there'll be a link to that page in the description bar below. So, back to the original video. So, yeah, so obviously, features the main demon uh, torn out victim's heart uh, on a like a gothic kind of stone base. Then this is like a like a it's the sign of the Scorpio, uh, which is the astrological sign, and uh, obviously has drops of blood uh, leading from where he's took the heart out. So he basically wants to keep it more or less as is. He just wants it uh, like topping up and making it a bit better. So the main problem was that he what, what he wanted to fix him was this hand is uh, obviously broke off and it's supposed to go on there like that so it's a clean break it's just a straight straight down so that shouldn't be a problem and uh, drilling and pinning and that into place uh, but uh, yeah but before I go ahead and I start all that the first thing I want to do is I want to make a wooden base to house this on Okay guys, so for the first thing I want to do is I'm not a huge fan of how that foot overlaps the base. Uh, I'm just not a fan of the character or the creature uh, like protruding past its uh, its bounds I suppose. Especially when there's extra room back here. So for the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, I'm going to drill and pin this monster a little bit further back using the pins that's already provided inside the feet. Okay guys, that seems to have worked a lot better, as you can see there, so uh, he's not protruding over the base anymore, I just think that looks way cooler. So yes, yeah, so uh, for the next stage we'll go ahead and we'll uh, drill and pin this arm. Okay guys, so I've got a little bit of uh, scrap metal, which is nice and straight, so I don't have to worry about it bending. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a hole into this part of the arm here and then we'll go ahead and we'll match it with this one here and then we'll super glue it in place. Ok 
Okay guys, so a little tip here for you. Now we need to drill a hole, a channel hole in this, that lines up perfectly with this here. So that's how the arm's supposed to be displayed. So the hole will be down here somewhere. So how you judge that is uh, you get yourself a little bit of uh, PVA glue and then you put a little dab little dab of the hole and then you get your hand or whatever other part you want to connect and then you push it on at its, at its most natural point and then when you pull it away you have exactly where you need to drill So as you can see that's a perfect match so for the next stage I'll go ahead and I'll add a bit of super glue uh, to the rod and then I'll set the rod into place leave it to dry and then we can add the arm later on Okay guys, we'll go ahead and we'll leave that to dry and then uh, we can uh, think about adding the, ha the arm. 20 minutes later. Okay guys, so we'll go ahead and we'll glue this half now. Okay guys, we'll go ahead and we'll leave that to dry. Okay guys, so for the next part I'm going to go in with some regular super glue and I'm going to try and super glue these fingers back in place. Okay guys, I'll go ahead and I'll leave that to dry. Okay guys, so I've gone ahead and I've mixed some milliput. So I'm going to go over and sculpt this seam line and blend it out and we'll also go ahead and add some to that extra bit of heart. So this seems to have worked really well, so let's go ahead and add some to the heart. Okay guys, so they worked out both really well, so I'll go ahead and I'll leave those both to dry. And then uh, we can start thinking about adding a better paint job. Okay guys, so for the first part I'm going to use some black acrylic and I'm going to lay a base coat or a base tone to this uh, dried milliput and, uh, and then we can start trying to colour match the, uh, the shading. Okay guys, so I think that that colour match worked really well. So I'm going to leave that to dry and then we can think about coating the full figure with, a, uh, with more of a matte uh, see-through black tone. Okay guys, so for the next part, now the actual monster in the film is a bit more like a matte rubber black rather than the metallic blue. Now I want to keep the metallic blue as a nice undertone which will show up all the, uh, the nice mu muscle tone but uh, I'm going to go over it with a simple thin shade of uh, a, a bit of a it's like a watered down black but mixed with matte varnish so once dry that'll give it the black rubber look
worked really well so I'll go ahead and I'll leave that to dry and then I'll check it for uh, any parts that I might have missed but I don't think I have uh, yeah and then we can uh, crack on with the base okay guys so while we're waiting for the main demon to dry we're gonna go in with some flintstone grey and we're gonna add a base tone to the uh, to the base Okay, so for the next part, I'm going to go in with a watered down black wash and gently rub off the excess. Okay guys, so for the next part I'm going to go in with some meadow mushroom and I'm going to add some highlights. Okay guys, so now that that's been given a dry brush, I'm going to go in and I'm going to top up the blood red marks. Okay guys, so for the next part I'm going to go in with some acrylic red and we're going to highlight some of the blood pattern. Okay guys, so for the next part I want a nice blood splatter on both the monster and the base itself. So I've gone ahead and I've watered down some acrylic red and just a regular old toothbrush and then I'm just going to do the stipple effect. Okay guys, I think that'll work rather well so I'll go ahead and I'll do the same at the base. I think that'll work rather nicely. Okay guys, so for the next part, now I need to go ahead and I need to paint the uh, toenails and fingernails uh, a gloss black. So I'm going to use a Revell number 7 and uh, I'm going to coat all them. And uh, there's a good scene in the film where we get a good shot of the fingernails and uh, they're very, uh, very glossy I suppose compared to the rest of the creature so yeah so I'll go ahead and I'll do all that now
so for the next part I'm going to go in with a Revell gloss number one and this is a clear gloss and I'm just going to go over all the blood spatter I'm going to go over the visor as well uh, the fingernails and uh, I'll also do the blood on the floor as well Okay guys, so now we've gone ahead and we've given a gloss varnish to all the blood parts to make that a lot more shiny and a lot more interesting. For the next part, I want to go ahead and I want to 3D print some rats, because in the film there's, there's the running theme that there's loads of rats everywhere. So I want to go ahead and I want to 3D print some rats, paint them up and we're going to go ahead and add them to the base. So I've 3D printed the rats and I've cleaned them up a little bit so there they go so nice uh, neon bright green there so they're obviously not going to stay that colour so the idea is I'm going to paint them up and then just basically put them around the base like that so uh, so yeah so for the next part let's uh, let's get painting these bad boys
Okay guys, so that's this one all wrapped up now. So if you've enjoyed this video, please smash that like button and share on Facebook and Twitter because it helps new people find the YouTube channel, which I'm always appreciative. Thank you for your help. If you have any comments, comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on future builds. So once again, I'm Francis Gray and this is the Demon from the movie Split Second. I'll see you in the next build.